Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich won a huge victory in his fight to stay in office. Wednesday, the Illinois Supreme Court denied the state attorney general's request to declare the governor unfit to serve. At the state capitol, Blagojevich's attorney heavily criticized the House Committee impeachment hearing process. This is Alice in Wonderland. I don't believe so they, at all. They talk about, they talk about, or you have a gentleman get up there, read an a, a anonymous complaint with names of people who, in fact, don't, don't, they don't tell us about on um, tapes that we're not even sure exist. I'm questioning and making remarks about that, and your response is, forget all that. We're I'm not saying, saying it. I think it's the wrong time for that. But what we heard so far today, if we, if we are to believe the evidence, it seems to me that your client's sole idea was to get out of being the governor of Illinois. The governor's attorney, Ed Jensen, says the state does not have the right to introduce information from the U.S. attorney's criminal complaint. Jensen believes that the information is just hearsay at this point, but the House committee made it clear they are not a court. We are not here to find Rod Blagojevich guilty of crimes beyond a reasonable doubt. That is not what the impeachment article of the Illinois Constitution is about. Jensen believes that it's impossible for the House to carry out an unbiased impeachment hearing when many people on the committee have already made their opinions public. They stated an opinion that basically suggested that they could not be fair. And I'd ask specifically that Tracy, Representative Franks, Representative Black, be recused. Governor Rod Blagojevich said that he wants to tell the public his side of the story and suggested that he might do it very soon. But one thing Blagojevich won't be doing soon is appointing someone to fill Illinois' open U.S. Senate seat. That's according to his attorney Jensen. But Governor Rob Blagojevich still has the power to do so because he's still governor. Mark Carlson, The Associated Press, Springfield, Illinois.